Hello mga Matusiast! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang mat ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. At andito na naman si Teacher Maria ang inyong mat buddy para tulungan kayo sa mga problema nyo sa mat. And for today sa video, ang topic pa rin natin ay tungkol sa operations and functions. Pero, yung letter D part na ng inyong mga module yung gagawa natin ng guide. Pero bago kasi mula ng video tutorial na ito, mga anak ko, siguraduhin na muna ang napindot nyo na dyan ng like button. O pindutin nyo na yan, sige na. At syempre, kung bago pa lang kayo sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin nyo na rin dyan ng subscribe button. At i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na, na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell? Sigurado ha? Ngayon kung okay na, tara na, simulan na natin. Okay, given h of x is equal to 2x squared plus x minus 3, what is h x minus 5? Mga ano ko sana ito ay ano na, alam nyo na at na master nyo na sa dami ng example na naibigay ko. We're just going to evaluate this one ha, isa substitute lang natin yung given na x. And in this case, we have x minus 5. So, you will have your h, x minus 5, is equal to 2, yung mga x magiging x minus 5. So, x minus 5 squared plus x minus 5 minus 3. Okay, square nyo to. Naalala nyo yung technique na tinuro ko, square nyo yung first term. So, x squared. Product uh, of the first and the last, uh, twice the product of the first and the last. So, x times 5 is 5x times 2. So, you have 10x. Dahil negative to, negative siya. And then, square of the last. So, negative 5 squared is positive 25. Nagets ba yon? Kung hindi nyo nagets yon, mag-foil kayo ha. O, yung mas mahaba. So, x squared. And then, negative 5x. Uh, and then, x times negative 5, negative 5x ulit. And then, negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25. So, eto ay 10. So, x squared minus 10x plus 25. Shortcut lang yung sinabi ko kanina. Okay, plus x minus 5 minus 3. And then, anong gagawin natin dito? Distribute. So, you will have 2x squared minus 20x plus 25, plus x, minus 5, minus 3. Okay, so dahil solo si 2x squared, sulat na natin yan. What is negative 20 plus x? So, that's negative 19. Minus kasi ha, kasi magkaiba sila ng sign. And then, 25 minus 5 is 20 minus 3 is 17. So, positive 17. And, ayan na. Mm, diba? Dali lang. Okay, so, for number 2, given n minus p, x plus 3p, x. Okay, so, paano natin gagawin yan? So, mag-minus muna tayo, ha? n minus p. Paano natin gagawin yung n minus p? So, we will have here uh, n of x minus p of x. Okay, so, x plus 6 minus x squared plus 4x minus 12. Okay, so distribute tong negative. So, you will have x plus 6 minus, this is x squared, and then negative times positive, negative 4x, and then negative times negative is positive uh, 12. And then we can operate na. So, this is negative x squared. Ito muna to, dito na siya. So, x minus 4x, that's negative 3x kasi magkaiba sila ng sign. And then, 6 plus 12, that's positive 18. Okay? So, okay na ang ating ito. Okay na to. Ayan siya. Pero, kunin pa rin natin sino? Si 3p of x. Okay? So, yung p of x natin na to, ito times natin siya by 3. Kasi 3p of x. So, magiging 3p of x is equal to 3 times x squared plus 4x minus 12. So, this is 3x squared plus 12x minus 
Ilan to? 36. Okay, saka daw natin sila ia-add. So, magiging negative x squared minus 3x plus 18 plus 3x squared plus 12x minus 36. 12 to ha. Paano ba gagawin natin? O, ganyan natin para madali nyo makita. Okay, now, 3x squared minus, ah, negative x squared plus 3x squared. Dahil magkaiba sila ng sign, minus natin sila. So, 3 minus 1 is 2. So, 2x squared. And then, negative 3x plus 12x, magkaiba ulit sila ng sign. So, minus ulit, 12 minus 3, that's 9. Positive ha, kasi mas mataas si 12. And then, 18, ma, uh, 18 plus negative 36, dahil magkaiba ulit ang sign nila. So, minus ulit. So, that's negative 18, kasi mas mataas yung 36. So, eto na yun. Eto na yung n minus p of x plus 3p of x. For letter B, we have n of x over p of x. Okay, so we have... Ano yun? N of X. So, ang N of X natin, sulat ka muna. <coughs> N of X over P of X. Ang N of X ay ilan? X plus 6. Sorry. X plus 6 over X squared. Ano yun siya? X squared plus 4X minus 12. Plus 4X Minus 12. Okay. I-factor natin itong nasa baba. Pwede kasi yan eh. Okay. Anong factors ng 12 na kapag minus mo sa isa't isa ay 4 ang magiging answer? So, sa 12, we have 1 times 12, 3 times 4, and 2 times 6. So, obviously, eto, ba? Diba? So, x, and then x, and then 2 and 6. Now, look at the middle term. Dahil alam natin na sa third term, magkaiba sila ng sign, kaya nga siya naging negative. Ganino mapupunta yung positive sa mataas? And then, ito magiging negative. And then, we can cancel. So, hindi ibig sabihin nun zero, ha? Katulad ng sinabi ko doon sa video, hindi porkit na-cancel ang numerator at wala nang natira, zero na yun. That's 1 over x minus 2. Okay? So, yan yung n of x over p of x. Ang susunod ay composite, di ba? Composite, so we have yung N papasok kay P. Okay, kasi composite niya eh. So, yung, yung, yung N natin na function papasok sa P na function, okay? So, that's what? That's P of N of X. Okay, ang N of X natin ay ilan X? plus 6. So, ang P of N, sorry, N nga eh. Wait lang. Ay, nako. So, si P, N of X is equal to ilan yan? Ang P natin ay X, X squared plus 4X minus 12, di ba? So, imbis na X squared yon, that will be X plus 6 squared. Okay, plus 4, tama. 4, 4, 4, 4. Tapos yung x niya, papalitan mo ng x plus 6. So, x plus 6 plus 12. Plus 12 nga ba? Sorry, makakalimutin si ma'am. O, oh, ayan, minus 12 pala. So, that's minus 12. Saka tayo mag-ooperate, ha? Minus 12. Enter ko lang. So, we have here, o, oh, ano yung sabi ko dito, shortcut natin, square the first term, x squared, twice the product of the first and the last. So, x times 6 is 6x times 2. So, that's 12x. Pero, pwede naman mas mabilis, ha? Ulit, ha? Square nito, twice the product of this. So, x times 6 is 6 times 2 is 12x. Ulit, 6 times x is 6x times 2. 12x. And then, square nung third, or nung last term, so that's 36. Okay? And then, we have plus 4x plus 24. <coughs> okay. Plus 24 minus 12. So, you will have your x squared. Wala na to. So, we have 12x plus 4x. We have 16x And then, 36 plus 24, ilan yan? 36 plus 24 is uh, 
10 carry 160. And then minus 12. So you will have your x squared plus 16x. 60 minus 12, ilan? Ah, dito na. This is 8. So this is 5 minus 1, 4, 48. Plus 48. Positive ha, kasi mas mataas si 60. Okay, so that's for number 2. Now, let's go to number 3. Given, oh, let, let m of x is equal to this one, n of x, and then p of x. Pa, find this one. Okay, so, di ko na bilanggit. Hi, nihingal si Teacher Maria eh. Okay, so, ang gagawin natin, kunin muna natin ito, yung n minus p of 4. Ha? Okay, so, we have n of 4 is equal to, ito yun. 4 raised to 3 minus 31. 4 raised to 3 is 4 times 4. 16 times 4 is 64. Minus 31. So, 64 minus 31 is, ilan? 33? Ang dapat na 33 nilagay ko dito. Thirty-six minus five. Ngayon dahil medyo mahaba ng video na ito, mga anak ko ikat ko muna ha. Pero yung three, four, five, ano? Ah, tama yung three, four, five, six ay gagawin ko agad para ma-upload at mag-guide kayo. Okay, ngayon kung naiintindihan niyo ang video na ito at natulungan ko kayo, please, mga anak ko, maglagay ng comment sa ating comment section ha. Yan kasi yung makakatulong sa video na ito para ma-up at makita din naman ng ibang grade 11. So, tulong na rin natin sa kanila yung pag uh, iwan nyo ng comment dito. And kung may yung mga classmates kayo na nahihirapan, please uh, share this sa uh, video ha para may guide din naman sila at may reference sila. Baka kasi nababaliw na yung mga yan ha. At syempre, follow nyo ako sa ating Facebook page, Love Ma TV. Sige na, uh, bisitahin nyo ako saglit. At syempre, laging tandaan, let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye!